Hello everybody, welcome to Barca Times on YouTube here. Hello my fellow players, welcome back to another Barca latest news. Of course, this is our centre-back Judas Kunde, who is unhappy at Barcelona. All details coming out for you. Lamine Yama was in tears after yesterday's game against Athletic Bilbao. We will discuss the reason why this player was in tears and then we will talk about Paul Kubrezi, this outrising La Masia player who is said to be a key player for the Barca senior side. This is a minimal Barca news you will discuss right here in today's video but before we do start if today is the first time being on my youtube channel then please just do me a favor and take a second then subscribe to my youtube channel also don't forget to like this video i'll be very very much appreciated if you guys subscribe and also like this video so without me wasting your time let's get started with today's barca latest news we have right here and so we start today's news with this our president Joanna Porta and also our current coach Javi Hernandez. You know, after Barca losing 4 2 to Athletic Bilbao yesterday in the quarter final Copa de Rey, you know, some of you coolers right here might think it's time for Javi be out from Barcelona. Barca need different coach who can rebuild Barca in a very good way. But let me tell you something right here from Sports. And Sports says Joanna Porta is never thinking about sacking Zevi or firing this or coach Zevi Hernandez. So if you are thinking that way, then you better stop thinking about Zevi out or something like we sacking Zevi because our president still trusts Zevi and wants Zevi to still be Barca coach. And that is all about Joanna Porta and also Zevi Hernandez from Sports. They say Joanna Porta is not thinking about firing Zevi and still wants Zevi to be Barca coach and he trusts the coach 100 percently and so that's all about joanna porta and javi hernandez so lamin yama also was in tears as i said in the beginning after yesterday game losing 4-2 to Athletic bebao in the copa duri quarter final but our president done something special la porta went to him and encouraged him and the president was very proud about lamin yama performance yesterday and everybody was proud about his performance yesterday against Athletic bebao scoring that golazugu that was a special one from Lamen Yama. So this player was in tears, but a president went to him and encouraged him and told him he was impressed about his performance yesterday against Athletic Bilbao. So Lamen was crying yesterday, not easy because scoring that goal and nothing good did come from it. Of course, you're going to cry for that. But our president went to him and encouraged him for him to do more. So that is all about Lamen Yama. And so let's have a little bit discuss about this our left back Alejandro Baudi. You know, in yesterday's game against Athletic Bilbao, Baudi was injury and has to be replaced by Hector Fort. But after test carry out in today's morning from Mundo Deportivo, Baudi who makes four to six weeks. That is exactly one month. And if this happened, that means Baudi is not going to play against Napoli in the Champions League round of 16. And Baudi will max both legs in Champions League round of 16 against Napoli. You know, in round of 16, we play home and away. And Baudi are set to mix both home and away matches against Napoli. And that is all about Alejandro Baudi. This player is said to be out due to injury for one month. And so Kunde is not happy as I said it in the beginning. This one from Tony Juan Mati who is a worker at Sports. And let me read what Tony Juan Mati did say here. He said there is a source in Barca dressing room that says Jules Kunde is not experiencing his happiest moments on a personal level. One of the reasons is also the departure of his good friend that is Osman Dimbedi and Frank Casey. And in addition on his return to right back position. So all these things are the reason behind Jules Kunde not happy in Barcelona right now the departure of Osman Dimbiri you know these French boys used to be happy at Barcelona then time Osman Dimbiri were there and Jules Kunde too you know their partnership was good and Kunde always feel happy and also Frank Kese to departure to Saudi Arabia is what is causing Jules Kunde not to be happy and also his return to right back position you know Kunde have been telling service several times you don't want to play on the right back position but you know in matches nowadays Judas Kunde used to play on the right back and that is why Kunde not feel happy in Barcelona right now. So that's all about Judas Kunde not happy in Barcelona right now. As you're not leaving Judas Kunde, some of Barca board of directors also see like selling Kunde 
is going to be very very important in the summer because day in day out kunde is losing his value and some of the board of directors in barcelona sees like selling kunde in the summer is going to be very very important due to a financial fair play you know barca facing that problem and we need to say a top player and selling kunde barca board of directors sees like is going to be an important one especially with an emergence of paul kubresi a la masia player who is becoming so special for barca senior team of course he did start last time out against Real Betis Barca win against them 4-2 he did come off in Athletic Bilbao game yesterday he's, he's a player who like he don't feel pressure when the ball is with him he, the way he passes, he positions himself at the center back position is very special so some of the board think selling Kunde and replace him with this our La Masia player Paul Kubresi is going to be an important one and that is going to help Barca to get money and then sign a defensive midfield that we have been searching for in this transfer window so that is all about Julius Kundi. Some of the board of directors in Barcelona think selling Kundi is going to be a special one and it's going to be an important one with the uprising La Masia star Paul Cubresi to replace his position as a centre-back player for FC Barcelona. And so due to Alejandro's Baudis injury, you no know, Baudis injury, I've explained about that one and in yesterday's game we also saw what did happen when he was replaced by Hector Ford. He was very good. Hector Ford, no pressure on him. He was very good with the ball. And from Sport, they say Cancelo and Hector Ford are the most likely to replace Alejandro Baudi, who is injury right now. And I think in big games, that is where Cancelo will be used to play as a left back for Barcelona because right now you know Cancelo was signed to play as a right back but Xavi did use Kunde as a right back so Cancelo could be shifted to play as a left back due to this um Alejandro Baudi latest injury and also Hector Ford could also be replacing him as a left back due to Alejandro's Baudi's Injury. And so officially the referee is going to be officiating between Barca and Viare is Jose Luis Muniera Montero He's going to be the referee for Barca Villarreal game on Sunday and the one who is also going to be in charge of the valve room is Jimmy Latre the Santiago as Santiago Jimmy Latre he will also going to be in charge of the VAR room against Barca and Villarreal match that we play on upcoming Sunday and that is all for today guys if you guys find this video very helpful please do me a favor just take a second and subscribe to my YouTube channel I will see you guys soon in my next video. But until then, Vizca Barca, Vizca Catalonia. I really, really thank you guys for all of your support and also for watching this video.